I'm going to show you how to play a Jeff Buckley song today. Uh, Grace off the album Grace. I am going to walk you through it step by step, slowed down, so you can just have a go at each section. First of all, this song is in drop D. If you don't know what drop D is, then uh, you know, click there. But let's get there now. So. basically tuned out E string down to D. The intro, slow down, your first finger is going to be on the first fret. Your ring finger is going to be on the D string on the third fret, so you've got. So the shape is the same, but the first time we're doing it down here, pull off on the B string. After we've pulled off, I'm going to play the B string again, you know, fretted here. Just keep that fretted there. And then we're going to go to the G string with our ring finger on the third fret and go. So those are pull offs. second time round you go so it starts the same and then you're going so that's a pull off on the high E the B and the G and you go, so 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 far we have slow, pause it, rewind it, whatever you need, but try and you know, lock that in your brain, because we're going to do the same thing again, but up two frets. I'll do that slowly one more time. So after you've done that intro run, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to play and E minor, but remember we're in drop D, you're going. If you're on an electric guitar, you want to be playing this up here on the 14th fret. I'm on an acoustic, so I'm going to do it down here. And it's an A shape, but we're going to bar. Because we're hammering on and we're just kind of with these two fingers. This is the little finger here on the fifth fret, so and then which is an A7 chord. And then your little finger's going on the B string on the fifth fret, so Okay, cool. There's your intro. Verses are, you remember that E minor we did before? The, our drop D E minor, so we've got. And all you're going to do is you're going to arpeggiate that on these top, these lowest four strings. So you can go. There's the moon to stay. Move it up a fret. Long enough for the. Down a fret. Frets, you know. So basically, that same shape you move from the second fret, the third fret, to the second fret, to the first fret. Then bring it back up to the second fret. Afraid to die. And here's a really fun run that you, that you, that you get to play now. These are some really amazing chords. Uh, we've just come out of our verse bit. We're going to strum into because we're building up to that chorus, aren't we? Um, so you My favorite 
I does that twice. Yep. My fading. And the next one. So we're not playing this A string, we're muting it with uh, this bad boy here, our middle finger on the fourth fret on the low E. So we're going. And this is the bit that we can shake, we can move up one fret. So. It's just moved up one, that's fine. Now, as we move up the next one, it's a, uh, our first finger is moving up one fret and the rest of them are moving up two, so you got. And if you move them all up two frets again, but your little finger's gonna go up an extra fret, and you got. finger down and these two fingers are going to be on the sixth and the seventh so we got nine six seven beautiful chords and then you're back to your E minor so if you put that together again you got And the weight in the fire bit is just, it's these, it's these fabulous drop D chords here, so you got you. Weight in the fire, second fret, weight in the fire. back into your intro with your so that's all the sections to the song and then the only other bit is at the that huge massive outro with lots of vocal acrobatics um, just those but absolutely hammered out on your acoustic just really go for it you know it's one of my favorite songs ever um, let me know in the comments what you want to learn next I'll see you next time